Hello, my name is Dr. Reza Houston, and this is my introductory video to Finance 300, Principles of Finance. So what are we gonna cover in this class? Well, I'll be covering essentially all of the principles of financial management. We'll talk about topics ranging from the time value of money to bonds, to capital budgeting, to the cost of capital, to stocks and how to analyze them. And we'll be talking a lot about various other techniques. Now, before I get into the syllabus and what I'm going to be asking you to do, I think it's important for you to know a little bit about myself. So I've already told you my name. I This is my third year at Ball State University. Prior to this, I was at Indiana State for three years as an assistant professor of finance. Prior to that, I earned my doctorate in finance from the University of Missouri. And before that, I was working as a property and casualty actuary, and I also got my MBA. So let's talk about the basics of the course. So our room is going to be WB 144, the big lecture hall in Wittenger. Uh, if you want to get in contact with me, there's many ways that you can do it by phone. This is my cell phone number or by email. This is obviously my email. And if you need to stop by my office, it's on the third floor on the corner. So number 359 in Whittinger. Now, my office hours are going to be from noon to 3 p.m. on Monday and Wednesdays during the week. But obviously, we have to be very flexible. So... I'll, if you need to get in contact with me or you want to set up a Zoom meeting, please go ahead. I'm more than flexible with that stuff. I, I am more than happy to meet with you or call, uh, respond to calls or emails. However, uh, I can. All right, so let's talk about the course objectives. So in this course, my goal is to give you a good background and a a broad understanding of the field of finance. So we'll talk about how to identify investment opportunities, how to identify cases uh, cases where it's beneficial to borrow or lend. We'll talk about buying and selling various other assets. We'll talk about the cost of capital for firms, et cetera, et cetera. So the course that I'm going to ask you to get is Corporate Finance by Besley and Brigham. Now, I know it's listed as requesting the sixth edition, and I believe the bookstore is selling the sixth edition. However, I, I want to say this as strongly as I possibly can. You will not need an access code for this textbook, textbook or this class. I won't be asking you to use some proprietary software that comes with the textbook which means feel free to use an earlier edition of this textbook. Feel free to use a purchase a used copy of the textbook. Feel free to purchase the international version of the textbook. I'm willing to bet all three of those options are much cheaper than buying it at the bookstore. Although I do recommend that you actually have a hard copy of the text versus the online version because then you lose access if you have the online version eventually. Now, you will need a several other tools. I, I strongly, well, you'll need Excel. I, I will say that uh, for answering questions, you will need Excel in this course. You will absolutely need a financial calculator, the BA2 plus calculator. This is the standard calculator for anyone who's aspiring to be a financial analyst or an actuary. The BA2 plus is the financial calculator. It's the thing that you'll use well after this course. Next, obviously, you'll need access to your email and Canvas. Canvas is where I'm providing all of our resources. And then you'll need a computer with a webcam because I'm going to ask you to take your exams via the Respondus Lockdown browser. I'll talk about that in, in a few minutes. And then finally, I'd recommend that you get a copy of the Financial Times or the Wall Street Journal, I suppose, but the Financial Times is arguably, well, in my opinion, it's the best business-based or finance-based daily periodical out there. I mean, really the big two are the Financial Times and the Wall Street Journal, but the Financial Times, in my opinion, offers you a better 
better information on international topics, whereas the Wall Street Journal typically focuses more on the U.S. market simply because it's it's a U.S. publication, whereas the Financial Times is a British publication. It's based in London. All right, so Canvas, all of the information, all of the lecture videos, every quiz, every exam, every assignment, everything you need will be on Canvas. So here's our Canvas site. I haven't published it yet. I'll do that here hopefully in a couple of hours, but you'll see our syllabus here. You'll see a document on how to download our browser for our exams. And then for every week, I've put all of the material for that week in that particular module. So feel free to, for week one, you'll be watching three videos. I have the PowerPoint for the, that you'll see in those videos here. And then I'll be asking you to submit notes. And then if you want to test your knowledge using any practice questions, these are the practice questions, or rather they're the questions that come with the textbook. And I, I want to give you guys as much exposure to the material as I can. So these additional practice questions that you'll see at the end of every weekly module, those are not for a grade. You don't have to do them. They're good practice if you're studying for an exam, though. All right, now let's scroll down here and talk about the class format and decorum. So this semester, we'll be using what's called a flipped classroom. And if you've never been in a flipped class, basically what that means is that I'm providing the lectures outside of class, and then the hands-on material, the assignments, everything that you'll be working on prior to the exam will be done in the class. So in the class, I'll, I'll be expecting you to watch the videos prior to class, and then when we're in class, I'll be answering any questions that you have with respect to the assignments. I'll discuss real world examples every single day. And then I'll also talk about some advanced material and then I'll show you how to analyze firms that I'm going to be asking you to analyze in this course. I will ask you while you're in the class to put your cell phones on silent. We're all adults here, so quite frankly, if you need to make a phone call, please go ahead and step outside. You're not going to offend me. If you, I mean, just don't, take a cell phone call in the in the classroom itself. That's, you know, just annoying. I don't think I've ever had that happen, but I've heard horror stories. All right, now let's talk about how we're going to be handling COVID-19. So obviously we have to be extremely flexible this semester. I mean, we, we really have to prepare for anything, including a complete campus shutdown. So. I've been asked to have a seating chart by the College of Business so that if someone tests positive in our class, we can identify who was around them and then everyone that was around them can quarantine. So what I'd like you to do is on day one, please feel free to select the seat that you want and we'll just I'll, I'll just ask you to keep the same seat. So be careful where you sit on day one. Uh, also, I mean, if you have any symptoms related to COVID-19, and I'm pretty sure that includes any headache, any fever, any aches of any kind, that, that means that you potentially have symptoms, uh, please just let me know. So, you know, that mean I mean, you don't need to show up. It won't be counted against you. I just want everyone to be safe. Uh, if you have any immunodeficiency issues, obviously, please let me know. We'll work around that. Uh, and then again, if the if the university sh passes a college wide shutdown, we'll move our classes to Zoom. Next, there is a university requirement or a college of business requirement that all students have to have face masks on inside the campus buildings. So I am going to hold to that. I will be wearing a face mask while I'm in class, and then I, I do ask that. Uh, you do as well, and then we'll we'll try to maintain social distancing. Obviously, it's it's not ideal, but that is reality. Uh, if you have any disabilities, please let me know. Uh, participation and timeliness. I would like you to show up on time. I mean, it's really very distracting for your classmates and for myself when people show up late to class. So 
show up on time. I, I will say that. Uh, make sure that you turn your assignments in on time. I probably won't accept late assignments. I mean, obviously, there's medical issues that you know require additional, uh, well, some some adjustment. Uh, but just please be prompt, be timely, etc. Uh, if you have any disabilities, please let me know what I can do to accommodate them. Uh, I, I will also try to respond to any email within 24 hours. I don't think that's ever been an issue. I should respond much more quickly than that if it's daylight hours or if it's prior to midnight. Uh, let's see, academic integrity... Basically, don't cheat. I mean, I, I I write my own questions. I'm my goal there is to make sure that you don't have any incentive to try to Google an answer. Uh, basically, it it just takes the pressure off of you. Hopefully, uh, so please don't cheat. It's the worst part of the job having to deal with that. Uh, just make my life easier, and you know, I think everything will get along fine after that. Uh, etiquette, just be courteous to others. Uh, let's see, we have some College of Business and University objectives. Feel free to read those. Uh, feel free to read the statement on the major field test. All right, let's talk about what everyone is actually interested. What are you going to be asked to do for a grade in this class? Well, first off, we'll have several assignments. So you'll have one assignment a week for the first 15 weeks, and those assignments will correspond with the lecture videos that you're going to be responsible for. The assignments will be due on Sunday night of the week they're assigned. And in those assignments, I'll essentially just be drawing straight from the lecture material. Uh, and this is really where the, the flipped classroom comes into play. So. During the class, I'll answer really any question you could possibly ask with respect to those those assignments. If you want me to show you how to work all of those questions, I'm happy to do it. Really, if you're showing up for class, my goal is that you know how to accomplish or complete those questions. And uh, if you get a perfect grade on each assignment, well, that's just a happy byproduct. So that's that. Uh, next, chapter notes. So chapter notes, I'll be asking you to make notes as you watch the lecture. And my goal here is twofold. First, I want you watch, watching the lecture. That way you don't bomb the exam. Uh, so those notes incentivize you to watch the lecture and make notes. Or, and, make notes. and then when you're studying for the exam, you can review those notes uh, as needed. Uh, so what you're going to be do, doing is uploading those notes to our Canvas tab or our Canvas site via the, the Modules tab or the Assignments tab. So for example, in our Week 1 material, you'd click on the Chapter 1 Notes part and then upload your notes. You can submit them in any format. As long as I can read them, I'm happy. Uh, most people in the past have tended to upload a Word document, or if they're taking handwritten notes, they just take a picture with their phone and upload it. That's that's perfectly fine. I just need to be able to see it. Okay, uh, next, the term project. So the term project is something that will start very early on, and then I'm going to ask you to write a report on it later on. So I'll ask you to select a firm from a list that I'll provide, and I'm going to ask you to analyze that company over the course of the semester. So I'll, if we're talking about the weighted average cost of capital, for example, in week 10, I might ask you to calculate this firm's weighted average cost of capital. So you're responsible for going out, collecting real-world information, and giving me whatever this firm's weighted average cost of capital is. Uh, so at the very end of the semester, you'll have a lot of data that you can use to just create a report uh, that you'll be submitting to me. And I'm going to ask you essentially whether or not you believe this firm is worth buying or not, or whether you believe this firm's equity is worthy of further analysis. Uh, so I'm going to ask you to present your analysis via either a video 
or you can write a report. It's going to be up to you. This is something I've never done before, but I thought it would be something that you might find useful, interesting, and you know, you might actually get something out of. All right, finally, exams. We'll have three exams in this course. They will not be comprehensive. Uh, each exam will cover five chapters. So exam one obviously covers chapters one through five, uh, two covers six through 10, and three covers 11 through 15. Uh, so each exam will be taken the week after we cover the final chapter. So for example, for example, exam one, you'll be responsible for taking that in week six, since we're covering chapters one through five. Uh, now you will be asked to use Respondus Lockdown Browser to take the exams, and then I'll, I'll provide you some information on that later in the course. And then I will ask you to have a photo ID and webcam to be able to take those exams. Next, you will be allowed to use your BA2 calculator on the exam, and I'm gonna allow you to use one page of notes front and back, so good luck. All right, here's the grade, grade distribution. It's fairly straightforward. I mean, something you've seen a dozen times so far in college, and here's our point breakdown. So our assignments are worth a little more than a third of the class grade. So like I said, if you're coming to class asking questions on the questions you don't know the answers to, that those really should be easy points. I mean, it's, it's really the big grade inflator. Next, we will have three exams totaling about 36.36% of the, the grade in the class. So study hard for those. Your notes, this should be a you know, more or less a gimme. I mean, basically my goal is to incentivize you to watch the videos and uh, that should also increase your grade in the exams. And then finally, your term project will be 150 points. And like I said, you'll turn that in at the very end of the semester. All right, so here is our tentative schedule of activities. I'm gonna try and hold to this as much as I possibly can, although with COVID, something might change. If something does change, I will alert you uh, to any changes I make in this syllabus. I mean, the syllabus really is my agreement with you as to what I expect from you and what you, uh, what you can expect from me. So if I say something in class and it doesn't jive with the syllabus, well, we'll go with the syllabus. Uh, or really, I'll just default to whatever benefits you the most because I, I want this syllabus to be as accurate as possible and I don't want to mislead you on anything. So uh, here we have the each week and the chapter that you're going to be responsible for that week. So like I said, we'll do a chapter a week. And these are the videos that you're going to be responsible for, which you'll find under your modules tab in Canvas. Uh, you will have an assignment every week, and then I'll ask you to upload some information with respect to your project, so some data point that you can use later on. And then finally, I'll ask you to upload your notes. So really for every week, you're going to have three things that you owe me, and that is the assignment, some uh, analysis, which will be potentially just like one number even, uh, and then your notes for the week. So that's that. I want it to be very, very formulaic. That way you know exactly what you owe me, and I, I want to be as transparent as possible in the process. So I, I suppose that is all I have for you. If you want to know more or less what each chapter covers, feel free to browse the later section of the syllabus. But with that, I'm going to wrap up. If you have any questions prior to the start of the class, please feel free to email me or call me. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. So with that, I'll sign off and thank you very much.